different ways. Issue two is a legislatively referred item, which means that the Ohio legislature voted to place the item on the ballot, while issue three originated as a citizen-initiated constitutional amendment requiring petition signatures. Responsible Ohio was the petitioning organization for issue three, and they submitted their signatures on June 30th, 2015, in accordance with the July 1st deadline. But the signatures then have to be verified in order for the issue to be certified and placed on the ballot. On the same day they turned in their <coughs> signatures, um, and in response to Responsible Ohio's submission, the state legislature then voted to place issue two on the ballot, and the action then was taken that very day. So, we'll start with issue three. The Ohio Marijuana Legalization Initiative, again, is a citizen-initiated constitutional amendment. The measure would legalize the medical and personal use of marijuana for people who are 21 years of age and older. The use of medical marijuana would require a doctor's note. A recreational user of marijuana would be permitted to possess one ounce of the drug or less, Someone choosing to grow marijuana at home for personal use would be permitted to grow four flowering plants at a given time with a cultivation license. This measure would create the Ohio Marijuana Control Commission. Um, this would be established to regulate the industrial and homegrown cannabis production, the chemical content, retail sales, and taxation. Um, the commission would also serve as a clearinghouse for all scientific research on marijuana and establish a business incubator in Cuyahoga County. The amendment would, uh, would provide for 10 marijuana growth, cultivation, and extraction facilities, also known as MGCE facilities. Cultivation of all medical and retail marijuana and production of marijuana-infused products would only be permitted to take place at these 10 MGCE facilities. This is, in fact, a portion of the law that led the state legislature um, to take exception to, so we'll talk more about that. The amendment would further criminalize selling or transferring marijuana to a minor, hiring a minor to work in a marijuana establishment, operating a vehicle under the influence, and using marijuana in public places. Next, we have issue two. The Ohio-initiated monopolies amendment is on the ballot as in Ohio, or in Ohio, as a legislatively referred constitutional amendment, which means, again, that the state legislature voted to put this issue before the voters. Lawmakers crafted the Ohio Initiative Monopolies Amendment in response to the Marijuana Legalization Initiative. The initiated monopolies amendment would require the Ohio Ballot Board to determine whether any ballot initiative would create an economic monopoly or special privilege for any non-public entity, including individuals, corporations, and organizations. So if the Ohio Ballot Board determined that an initiative would create this type of monopoly or favor, they would then present the issue to voters in terms of two issues. First, they would act, ask if the voters approve of the establishment of this type of monopoly or um, economic um, privilege, and yes or no, and then they would vote on the actual initiative. In order for the initiative to pass, both of these measures would have to pass. Um, so that is how issue, issue two would work. Um, the second question, um, yeah, again, would be on, on the ballot. Um, if voters approve the amendment, it would invalidate any initiatives voters approve on November um, 3rd. The, the ballot um, that, or anything on the ballot that would establish economic monopolies. So what that means for us is that if issue two passes and issue three passes, in fact, issue three would be invalidated. Okay, so um, it would, it specifically says in the ballot language that if issue two passes, then issue three won't be into effect. Um, and so, there are certainly a number of directions that we can take our discussion today. Um, we'll discuss political issues, scientific issues, societal issues surrounding marijuana legalization and reform. With the goal of no 